one too. So moving on. This is another question that we get asked all the time. Can we deduct if a company is B2B or B2C? So here we're going to use the LinkedIn company description again. I will call out that this one, I would say 95% of the time is really right. There's a couple times that you might have some misses, but this is an inferred uh, you know, piece of information. So it's pretty good. And really, I'm calling out Facebook right here. I'm calling it out on myself. I don't know why it put B2B. You could see the prompt and somebody suggest me if there's a better prompt out there. So I'm telling it straight up. A B2B company is a company that sells to other companies. A B2C company is a company that sells to consumers. Using the input, tell me if the company is likely a B2B company or a B2C company. The input is this, like I said, the LinkedIn company description. The only acceptable output is either B2B or B2C. Do not answer in any other way. And as you can see, we got Canva, B2C. They're a very prosumer SaaS. I would take that. Calendly, B2B, nailed it. Loom, B2B, nailed it. Bitwarden, B2B. Notion, B2B. Salesforce, HubSpot, B2B. Liquid Death, B2C, nailed it. Red Bull, B2C. Lime, B2C, nailed it. Target, B2C. Walmart, B2C. Gong.io, B2B. 100 Coaches, B2B. Forbes, B2B. Sweetgreen, B2C. And then we have a couple ones. So I would even say Forbes is probably more like a B2C, but I mean, who they sell, sell to is they provide services for businesses on advertising dollars. Maybe the argument could be made for Facebook. Anyway, for the most part, it nails this far better than doing all of the work yourself. I would keep it going. All right. So actually, this one has nothing to do with the websites. Um, in Clay, as the, today is January uh, 21st, 2023. We are going to release next Monday a uh, feature where you'll be able to scrape somebody's LinkedIn post, either LinkedIn posts based off of a keyword or LinkedIn posts that are the last 10 LinkedIn posts that they have. So what I did is I copied and pasted some of those outputs into this table. And I basically want to summarize the LinkedIn post. And so you'll see my prompt here. Use the input to complete my prompt in under eight words. Keep the output short and use specific keywords from the post. These are social media posts by other people. And I would just like to know the main idea of each post. The input is this LinkedIn post. Complete this prompt. I just wanted to reach out because I saw your post about blank. So let's take a look. This one is a post I wrote. Only 2% of LinkedIn users are getting access to a list uh, that are most engaged and the rest are settling. This is basically talking about how if you post on LinkedIn, you'll start getting people to view your profile and those are the best people to reach out to. I just wanted to reach out because I saw your post about LinkedIn's most engaged prospects. Awesome. Uh, there are two hard parts about go-to-market that become much easier once you reorient your thinking. I just wanted to reach out because I saw your post about GTM and problem framing. Awesome. Customer appreciation should be a daily practice, but today, get to know your customer's day is an opportunity to go the extra mile. Okay, I saw your post about showing customer appreciation. This is actually a post based off of Uber's company page. So this works for person pages and company pages. Let's see. Uh, career compounding is magical. This is just one of the career lessons I found out by sitting down with Uber CEO, Dara. What was the post about? Building your career over time. This one, I was asking people to take 20 seconds and vote for the Golden Kitty Award for Clay. What was the post about? Clay's Golden Kitty nomination. You get the idea. Pretty much we're nailing it again over here. All right. Another problem that I see all the time. Whoop, we got to refresh. Another problem that I see all the time is people will put crazy things into their titles. And so when you put these things into your titles, I, it's... If I use this in an email, you know that I took this from your LinkedIn page and I scraped it. I didn't actually manually do the research. And so what I built was a AI uh, prompt to clean these titles. So let's take a look at the prompt before we take a look at the results. Using the input, clean the job titles from unimportant information and keep the most important part of the job title. Oftentimes people list two job titles, say things like we're hiring or they put seniorities in weird places. Clean the input to include the main job title, the input. And then we just have the titles to be cleaned. So let's see, growth marketer, we're hiring. Growth marketer, account executive, German and English, account executive. This one, uh, we didn't get it on this one. Chief strategy officer and global uh, development officer. It kept it the same, that's fine. This person, management consultant, author, professional speaker, lean and continuous improvement. Management consultant, professional speaker. Definitely an improvement from just sending them that title. CEO, YCW2022. CEO, 
Founder and CEO, CEO, Digital Marketing Coordinator, Director, Digital Marketing Director, Senior Vice President, Vice President. And so you can pause the video and keep looking through all these. But again, we pretty much nailed it. Uh, again, now we what we tried to do with this one, and this one didn't work as well. I didn't even, I'm making a blog post about this, and I didn't even include it in the blog post. Basically, I asked AI to read a job description and tell me if the job it pays salary or if it pays hourly. For the salary, it worked really well. And then it seems like the invalid input and the no valid outputs are the hourly ones. Like if you read it, it, it will have the hourly ones, but it uh, for some reason it doesn't output it here. And so I kind of let that one rest. So we will just move on from that one pretty quickly. This one is one of my favorites. All the time, we have a problem of finding out which companies are actually SaaS companies. Because if you are a SaaS company that sells to real estate agents, you will say on your LinkedIn company page that you are in the real estate industry, but you will not tell anybody that you're a SaaS company. So I built a AI prompt to tell us, is this a SaaS company or not? And this is all based off of their LinkedIn company description. So it's not really hard data to find. So let's check out the prompt. And our prompt is, is the company in the input a software as a service company? A software as a service? Oh, I even spelt it wrong and it still worked. A software as a service Company is a company that offers a software usually for a monthly or annual. Wow. Subscription to multiple users providing them with a service. The input is this company description. Only return as a result as true if it is a software as a service company or false if it is not a software as a service company. So we're going to save these changes and let's take a look at the results. Canva, true. Nailed it. Calendly, true. Loom, true. Bitwarden, candidly, I have no clue why it didn't say Bitwarden was a SaaS company. Clay, true. Notion, true. Salesforce, true. HubSpot, true. Liquid Death, false. Excellent. Red Bull, false. Lime, false. Excellent. Acme, Target, Walmart, ShopRite, false. Gong.io, true. 100 Coaches, Forbes, false. Excellent. Uh, these next three companies, false. Excellent. Xavier, nailed it. YouTube and Facebook, I thought this was one of the most interesting ones. They said it was false, which is perfect. I would not consider YouTube and Facebook a SaaS company, but it still nailed it. So that is awesome. And rounding out one of our last ones, OpenAI is also really good at taking unstructured bodies of text and then dropping it into structured bodies of text. So what we did is we automated a Google search to find the Glassdoor reviews of a company. This is very simple. All we did was cite glassdoor.com, the company name, and then I just typed has an overall rating so we can make sure that was inside of the snippet. And so see how we have, you know, Canva has an overall rating of 4.5 out of 5. Bitwarden has an overall rating of 4.7 out of 5. But see how this isn't in the same place as here? So if we were to just try to say, if we were to just use a regular expression and say, give me the first number in this description. Well, here it's going to get you 4.5, but over here it's going to get you 19. So we created an open AI prompt to structure this unstructured data. Very simple. Using the input, tell me what the company review of the company is. Only return numerical value, no words. The input is, and then we took the Google snippet. And look at this, 4.5, 4.5, 3.9, 3.9, 3.5, 3.5, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 